Hey there! Welcome back to another episode of Berlin Craft. There's been something I've been talking about doing for a very, very long time now, and I've just never gotten around to it, never really did it, never really got around to it because I was doing other projects in the world, like the other houses and the other projects around. But today I want to go back to the very first house we made, the very first build we made in the world, and improve it, make it seem more like the actual village houses and skin it all down. I want to skin everything I built in the house down. I want to get rid of all the materials that I used in this house and just redo it. I feel like I can improve on a lot of things that I did in the build. I can make it look a lot better. I can make it feel a lot better. But first of all, I need to skin it down to everything that I've used to skin all the materials off the walls, floors, ceilings, move all the chests outside. Then we can begin the home makeover. I decided to keep the outside relatively unchanged. I kept most of the same materials. I changed the birch out for the bone block and I changed the cobblestone out for stone brick stairs along with the block above the doors to stone brick stairs as well. So the outside is relatively unchanged. I may change it up a little bit more in the future if I want to, but for now I think that's good. So for the inside, we sort of start planning the inside now. So I'm thinking for the floor we do dark oak and for the ceiling we do spruce. Sort of get a darker feeling in here along with the bone blocks to lighten it up a little bit. So let me get the floor in here and I'll see you back in a second. Floor and roof is in place. Now I'm thinking about other things. I'm thinking maybe right here, around here-ish, with a little bit of a divider going maybe here with spruce to break it up a little bit, or maybe we'll just go with dark oak. But either way, right around here, have a little window like this. Oh, geez, I am all over the place with my placement right now. A little window like this. We'll just use spruce for right now to demonstrate. Little tiny window like this with some glass panes in front. And these blocks right here, or no, these these ones sort of here will get filled in right like this okay I'll move this get in here and then these ones hopefully these don't break into the outside okay that one does but no big deal boom boom fill it like that and get sort of like a window thing right here maybe stone bricks right there to keep it up stone bricks right there to keep it up and right in here maybe we'll have our achievements in the world. We'll have our little achievement things. Since I had it here before, maybe this isn't the best place for it, but I certainly sort of like the placement of it. Let's place a torch there, or torch. Okay, fine, torch there for a slightly invisible lighting, and torch there for slightly invisible lighting, and there, and then maybe we'll get our achievements in there. Let's see how that looks, actually, because we need our achievements. We have these four achievements, which is our first iron sword, our first diamond pick, our first wooden pick, our elytra, and my wooden, or my wooden set, my iron set of armor, which is around here somewhere. I just can't remember where I placed it, but I know it's around here in the islands somewhere. Um... There's my item frames. Okay, yeah, so we can go like this, sort of place those down there and there, then come out here, grab our four little achievements, and then go like this, one, and two, and three, and where to go? Four. 
So we have our little achievements there. We have our tiny panel of achievements. Can't really touch them, but they're there and they're being shown off. So maybe I like that. Maybe that'll be moved later on to a different spot. But for right now, I think that's a pretty decent spot to have that. It shows off my achievements nicely. You walk in the door, you turn to your right. What's that? My achievements in the world. And maybe if we have the signs readily available where I don't have to go searching through chests for them, and then right above the achievement, we can write down what it is. So first, iron, sword, boom. And then, yeah, we can have our achievements lined up like that. We can't touch them. We can't accidentally break them unless we really want to. Maybe we'll have our plate of armor in a different spot. Maybe like right here, like another little exhibit thing right around here, right? Like, oop, wrong block, uh, right around there. Maybe we'll have our set of armor in there with another set of armor. Maybe when these get uh, broken down, we'll put our first diamond set in there. I think that sounds like a good idea. Your first little walk-in is like a museum walk-in. So then we need to figure out what to do with this area. This area. I have a plan for this area. Don't worry about that. But now I need to figure out what to do with this and maybe figure out how to spruce this up just a little bit. What do you think? What do you think? A bit plain maybe? Not enough design? You know, I don't really... You know, I like it, but uh, could do for something. We'll get to that later. We'll get to that something later. For now, I want to start working in here where I added a little 2x2 two two piston door. Very simple to make. Very, very simple. Just a little bit of redstone under here leading to a torch that's under this block that powers the block and the redstone so both pistons get powered very simple little doorway ready to be used and always ready to go so that's that and then we can decorate this up but for now i'll just cover up like this side this side with a little bit of bone block so we don't really see it and then we can start working on the automatic furnaces getting our chests back in here and decorating the walls up a little bit since we know right now Everything's a little plain. We need a little bit more pizzazz in this area. So it's time for me to do a little bit of work on the walls and get this area looking a little bit better. Now we get to make some real simple auto smelters. Whole line of furnaces like that, then get rid of whatever blocks you have, two blocks below, then grab some chests and chest 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 oh we need some trap chests to go there no problem we'll get those in a second then furnace on top furnace on top furnace on top furnace on top bottom bottom place some blocks there to get the bottom 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 then boom boom feed it all four of them coal so we'll just go one and two three four chests on top with a block above them so they can breathe and open boom 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 eh well we'll get one in a second again more trap chests in a second then we can just go iron and it gets funneled in oh there's a stone in there it gets funneled in i think to each side maybe we could actually just alternate that actually the yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. We're probably just going to alternate that. That's no big deal. We'll alternate that in a second. Actually, we'll let this run because it's already running, but we'll alternate this. Uh, let's see if we have any tripwire hooks to readily do that, and we don't. And I completely forgot how you make a tripwire hook. I think it's like a stick and iron and that. Some way, some way in that order, Some somewhere. Aha, I got it. Hey, I'm a genius. Okay, so we need two. Okay, so we need four. One, two, three four and then four tripwire hooks boom and we'll just go like this and that and this and then get rid of this one and that and then fill up the rest with normal chests boom 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 and then we have ourselves a normal working auto smelter that should be perfectly fine to run stone in there stone in there not good come over here grab ourselves a little bit more iron evenly distribute it between the four and then one two three Four. All of them should begin working and start pumping out iron. So that has three, that has two. This should be working on its first one. And that has a chest in it. Be careful of things that fall inside it. This should be working on its first one. Perfect. That is perfect. Okay, now we need to take any type of stairs so we can get access to the chests and go like that. Boom. And then come here and just go one, two, three, four, and then one, two, three, four four you can still access the chest you can still get to them and you still have you know your free range little thing here and then we'll probably do a little bit of bone blocks behind there just like everything else or maybe 
you know what, to add some little life into the room, because, you know, I'm, I'm starting to feel a little bit boring, a little bit drab with all this other stuff here. Let's do a little bit of mushrooms instead. Let's do the red mushrooms, give the room a little pop behind the furnaces. I think that might look pretty good. So let's try that, see how it looks, and then we'll judge from there. So mushrooms there, mushrooms all the way up here. Let's get that one back. Mushrooms all the way up and then all the way back. We won't see it behind the furnaces, which is a little bit of a shame, but uh, we're sacrificing a little bit of materials just so I'm not leaving any like weird spaces in there for some weird mobs to spawn or whatever. Boom. Oh, uh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, okay, fine. I got to get it from here. Boom. And then fill this back in. And that looks pretty good. We forgot up there, but yeah, that looks pretty good. That actually makes it stand out pretty well. So I got to do behind there, and then we'll move on to the next thing. Right, almost forgot to mention that the chests are all organized now. Stone, wood, redstone, tools, minerals, outside stuff, glass and sand, clays, nether stuff, more stone chests, another nature chest, and a little bit of a random chest where I didn't know what to, uh, where to put these in. These could go in stone, these can go in clay. I don't know where these would go, like the packed ice, the end stone could go over like the valuables or the sort of rare chest, wherever that may be. Yeah, right, right there, right there, that's a good spot. But yeah, that's the chests. They're all organized like that, and I was going to put some item frames up on them, but I don't have enough leather, I don't think. I was trying to find some, and it appears that I didn't actually find enough to, yeah, I didn't find enough to, oh! Oh, I'm blind. Never mind, we have, we have more than enough. Okay, let me get some item frames up on these then. This next thing, and possibly final last thing, is more of something I just want to do for fun, like a little bit of mess around thing, since I think it would be pretty interesting, pretty fun, and just a little bit silly. So, what I want to do is come all the way down here, go like this one sticky piston, and then around the edge, actually no, let's go down one more, just like this, sticky piston, all the way around here. And then all the way around this, get those good old fashioned furnaces up so they don't stick to anything. One, two, 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 and one, two. Perfectly got that. Didn't even realize that I actually got that. But what I want to do is uh, let's go up a little bit as well, just because that should be enough space. Okay, so. I want to get behind these and come down here to where the piston is, which should be right there. Yep. Okay. And then we're going to clear a little bit of space. Now you've seen me make this before. You've seen me make uh, this contraption before, uh, but it was for a different use. Now it seems like a lot of my projects actually involve this right now, but uh, you know what? It's all for fun. It's all for just a little bit of fun. Okay. So hopper there, hopper there. Or maybe we should go back a little bit. Maybe, yeah, well, let's go back a little bit. So hopper there, and then hopper there, and then comparator. We don't have a comparator. Two comparators, one and two. Then break a little bit more space like this. Boom, 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 boom. And then a little bit of redstone going like this to get to a piston, which we also seem to have forgotten. I swear I had some. Huh. Maybe I just left it over there on the ground, or, okay, let me jump, thank you. Or I just didn't pick it up. Oh, no, I guess I just don't have pistons. Okay, one second. Two pistons in place next to the comparators facing into each other with a redstone block in the middle makes it so we can go like this. And then that fires, right? So that'll fire. Ooh, oh, we're stuck. We're stuck. Hello? Uh-oh, we're sort of stuck here. Let's fix this. And let's fix this, I guess, then. Let's go like this and like that. And let's move that back a little bit. There we go. Fixed it. And then place that back so that can get its power. This should be firing. Ah, I didn't place that redstone wire and then this should be going back. Okay, so that's that. That finishes that. That's just a little bit of a hopper redstone timer. And we'll get rid of these as well. I want to make this look pretty in a second. So we'll get rid of these and then we'll start making it look prettier. Okay, that. Oh, yeah. See, there you go. We'll get fired up. So whatever's in here will get fired up. Like fired just into the sky. Let's use... 
Let's just use the mushroom blocks again. I'm feeling I'm feeling like the mushroom blocks recently. They look good and they just stand out a little bit more, which I personally enjoy. Let's go like this, get rid of that one and that one, and then this, this, get rid of these four, which shouldn't be a problem. Yep, nope, no skylight there. One, two, three, four, and then these two up here, one, two. Boom boom. Uh, we'll probably have to extend the timer on this just a little bit because it's sort of getting annoying already But uh, we'll do that when the time comes here in a second. So then finish this up bring this across There we go and then we'll just go Like this so we can get up here Yeah, we'll get up there and then well that's down fire away just get a whole bunch of chickens in here. Just a whole bunch. I don't, I don't really mind if they're doing something or doing nothing at all. Just want them to be doing something. Let's get a block there so they can't actually escape. Wait for that to go back down so we can continue throwing. Go back down. Go back down. There we go. And then continue throwing. And let's just stop when we get a decent number. Let's finish these last two eggs. Or last couple eggs. Then we're good. And then every little while, they should just get fired up. Now, I might need to make that a little bit taller since they appear to be dying. Let's wait for that to go back down. We'll make it a little bit taller since they appear to be getting hurt. And I don't want them to get hurt that much. Yeah, let's get in there now. Quickly, quickly, quickly here. One, two, three, four. Get rid of these. One, two, three, four. Okay, now they're not getting hurt. That makes me feel a lot better. Wait for this to go back down once again so we can get back in there and finish it up. So yeah, it's just a little bit of a chicken flinging machine. Like really, it's just for fun. Like this whole base is just for fun. A little bit of messing around. You know, just, just giggles. I just want it to be a little bit of giggles. You know, it was so serious before. It was just like, this is a house. It has storage capabilities. Now... Now it's for fun. Now there's just baby chickens, and now soon adult chickens flying around. And I say, I say that's pretty fun. But that's going to do it for today's episode. I hope you enjoyed watching me remake the house a little bit, remodeling it, giving it a little bit better of a life, uh, more chests, automatic furnaces, little chicken flinger, probably not going to actually do anything, but little chicken flinger nonetheless. And yeah, so I hope you enjoyed the episode. I hope to see you in the next video. Remember, stay fancy and peace out. Bye bye.